Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoyed these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you want to see this watch with photos, prices and accessories, check it out on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we're discussing the Ulysse Norden Executive Skeleton Tourbillon. You can see this manual wind 7 day flying tourbillon on my wrist is a large watch but it wears comfortably. Perhaps because it is smartly shaped to arc over the wrist, there is a camber or curvature to the case back and also due to the fact that entire Entirely in titanium and ceramic, it's physically light on the wrist. It has very little mass, 45 millimeters across the round of the case. That's without the crown or the crown guard. The watch has a reasonably slim profile, considering what's inside. 12.9 millimeters with a generously sloped case flank to fit underneath the dress cuff. It is broad, however. You'll measure it across the wrist from lug to lug at 54 millimeters, so it has an impressive wrist stance and presence. This is a watch that has a good deal of character in more ways than one. You'll note that there is a distinct curve to the case back. The way the lugs drape down and around the wrist means it's easier to wear this watch on a small wrist. I think you could wear it on a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. The strap features an embossed diamond pattern, reminiscent of many things. Some might mistake it for carbon fiber, but it is natural calfskin. It is a bonded strap profile to keep it clean, so there's no stitch. It's a bonded, flat, slim, and comfortable strap matched to a titanium double folding clasp with blackened buckle. Handsome, comfortable, it even has a curvature to its bottom to trace the arc of the wrist. It'll provide security on the wrist while donning or removing. Now the watch has some emblematic Ulysse Norden features including the extended lugs integrated into the case, the profile numbering that's reminiscent of their old marine chronometers, as well as the combination of two materials about the bezel and the case. The ceramic of the bezel actually shields the case along with the sapphire, helping the matte blasted finish to avoid scratches and scuffs. You will note, especially against the backdrop of my baseboard, just how evacuated this dial is. It does have the stylized Roman numerals of the executive series, so you can tell the time quite easily. There will be a loom shot at the end, but the watch is principally a showcase for the UN 171 movement. Manual wound, it beats away at 18,000 vibrations per hour, runs for seven days, and you'll note, once we get really close, that it features a fully silicon escapement. Escape wheel and palette. You'll also note that it features a silicon hairspring in a flying tourbillon architecture, so there's no upper bridge to the tourbillon. You have a completely unimpeded view of the centerpiece mechanism. Everything is nicely finished, as you'll note the finishing of the wheels, the finishing of the surfaces of the calibrations for the time of day, all the indices and numerals, as well as the stylized Dauphine hands at center. Beautifully polished, easy to read. The watch defies the norm within the skeleton category, which is a handsome aesthetic but limited legibility. On the case back, you can see Ulysse Norden's doing a little bit of a Grubel Forcey with that mainspring barrel. The stacked mainspring barrel featuring super graphics. The rest of the movement being almost ethereal in its architecture, it's beautiful to see and because it beats way at 18,000 vibrations per hour, it has almost a pocket watch chug-a-chug -chug against the ear, almost like a little locomotive on your wrist. You'll note the attention to detail and the intermediate styling, the knurling between the peaks of the crown itself with the UN logo blazing at center. It is a wonderful crown to hold and any manual wind watch should be a pleasure to wind. Happily, this one is. You interact with the watch and truly enjoy the experience. It has just enough of a mechanical ratchet to be a tactile pleasure, but not so much that it feels raw or unrefined. A beautiful vision on the wrist. This is a watch water resistant to 30 meters, so there are better UN watches for taking the plunge, but a sensational timepiece for sitting along the French or Italian river Vieira this summer. See it and own it on our website. And we're back with the Ulysse Nardin Executive Skeleton Tourbillon. I never promised it would be a supernova, but that's not bad for a skeletonized tourbillon watch, a timepiece that is legible in the dark, more spectacular by day. See it that way on our website.